everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking book releases and I am so excited for this week's book releases. You know, sometimes a week will come along and I'm only excited about one or two books, but then there's weeks like this one where I've got five books that I'm excited about and I have read some of them already, so that's pretty awesome. But um, yeah, it's a big week, big week, so you know, Let's just talk about these. I picked out five, five that I definitely want to read this week, okay? Um, so, number one, Gary Sinise, Grateful American. I have talked about this book before. 272 pages, blurbs by Tom Hanks, Clint, Clint, Clint Eastwood, and I am so excited. I'm getting the audio. I, I'm pretty sure, actually, I wanted to check. If he's doing the audio, I'm definitely getting the audio so excited. I get so excited about celebrity memoirs. It's, it's weird. Actually, I like all memoirs, but when there's a celebrity memoir, I get so excited about it. Okay. Number two, Reese Bowen, The Victory Garden, 347 pages, historical fiction, World War II, and I read it and I'm talking to her today. That's why I'm smiling like this, because I'm so excited that I get to talk to Reese today. Ugh, love her. I think I've interviewed her like four times now, and it never gets old, because her books are amazing. I love her series. I love her standalones. This is a standalone. I've been looking forward to this one for a while, and I can, I, I'm sure she's got another one coming out this year. She's like a two or three a year book author crazy person. Okay. I mean, 347 pages. We're not talking like she's writing novellas. Okay. She is writing full out books. So anyway, that will be posted this week. So excited. The next one, Finding Dorothy by Elizabeth Letts. Already did the interview. Post it below. Love her. Love this book. Okay. Wizard of Oz, 368 pages. Um, she does this story from the point of view of L. Frank Baum's wife, Maud. Okay. Now he was the author and uh, there's Judy Garland's. I mean, her research in this book is so amazing. Go watch her video. You will love her and you will love this book. It, I, I've been recommending it all over. So anyway, next book, number four, Sounds Like Titanic by, and I, I'm sorry, Jessica, this is a memoir, Jessica Chisahito, Hito, Heinemann. I'm going to say Hito. I am talking to her this week, I think on Thursday, 256 pages, memoir, watch the video on Amazon, go watch it. So cool. Okay. She looks so cool. I cannot wait to talk to her. So that is happening this week too. What a great week I'm having. Uh, number five, last one. We've talked about this one before. Leading Men by Christopher Castellani. Uh, 368 pages, historical fiction about Tennessee Williams and his lover set in the 1950s in Italy. And you know, I'm not going to get to interview him for like at least another month, but he sent me the nicest email that I am so like excited to talk to him. Like not everybody sends me really nice emails to decline. They're usually like too busy, sorry, on tour, writing, uh, you know, deadline. I get all kinds of, he's like, I am so sorry. Please if, forgive me. Can we talk next month? Yes. Of course we can talk. I was like, we can talk whenever you want to talk, Christopher. So anyway, guys, five amazing books this week, right? Uh, let's see. Memoir, historical fiction, mem uh, hist what would you call Dorothy? Kind of like a biography. Uh, memoir, historical fiction. <laughs> what? Like, that's like my perfect week, right? So anyway, thank you for watching. Please hit like. Next week, I am going to have a guest on my book release day. I'm going to tell you more about it as the week progresses, but yep, I'm not doing it alone. We're going to like banter back and forth on each one of these books. Um, she's going to come up with books that she's looking forward to. I'm going to come up with my list. We're going to compare notes and I think it's going to be so much fun. I am so excited. So have a great day, everyone.